Welcome my lovelies to another series of Astrid Nia videos, this time looking at the 0.10 crafting update. Uh, 1.0 is only a few months away, and this is the biggest update they've had in a while. It adds a hell of a lot of new resources and stuff like that, but also adds a chemistry lab for like taking two elements and making a third, and an atmospheric condenser for later on in the game, which sucks the atmosphere out of the air to create, well, get some gassy stuff which you use to make other stuff, and bloody blump really. But yeah, even in the early game, there's quite a lot of new resources and stuff like that. Though. I've got quartz and clay and all sorts of nonsense. I'm just looking around this area. We've got a lot of compound to be found. So we'll be I'll be going to gather some of that. Oh, in fact, let's let's just get this all sorted first. Uh, so I think this is definitely worth a few videos because a lot has changed. The whole sort of progression in the game has changed. And it does feel also like the early game is a lot more kind of accelerated. They've made it so um, you can actually get going a lot easier. So previously the early game was kind of like a bit of a slog. Um, but now, for, well, for instance, the, the most exciting thing I discovered whilst playing around with this earlier is that the medium storage unit um, is unlocked from the start, so you no longer have to build a, a, a pit of shit to gather your resources, <laughs> although there will probably be a certain amount of that as we go, just for the very start of things. Uh, so just, uh, just to give you an example of the sort of stuff that they now have, let's go and get some um, stuff over here. Um, they've got quartz, clay, and organic can be turned into carbon, and they've got uh, you can make um, rubber, plastic, aluminium alloy, tungsten carbide, uh, graphene, diamond, hydrazine, silicon, explosive powder, steel, titanium alloy, uh, alloy um, nanocarbon alloy, and there's um, some of the gases that you can now gather from the atmosphere, uh, include hydrogen, argon, methane, nitrogen, helium, and sulfur. All new stuff to the game. Just provides a hell of a lot more stuff to play with. So as I say, it's a good job that they've actually made the early game a bit more simple. But the most intriguing thing is how you can actually get to um, other planets a lot quicker now because they've added a kind of, um, I think it's a solid a solid fuel th thruster, which is a single-use thruster. So you can get a small shuttle, which is new to the game as well, and use that once to go to another planet, and then you have to use another one to get back. So you do actually have to pack an extra one in your backpack, otherwise you'll get stranded and all sorts of chaos will ensue. So the small shuttle is, um, is only in 1,500 bytes. Uh, which is quite cheap, but you do also need a vehicle bay, so there's that. Right, so let's just together get some of the basic resources. This this place, it's actually a very blue place, um, does seem to be very replete with compound. So let's gather as much of this nonsense as we can. Let's fill our boots. And none of the actual mechanisms of the game, like, you know, like um, uh, wind and um, just basic gathering and stuff like that, that hasn't changed. But this is, this is all about crafting this update, and um, hence why it's called the crafting update, I guess. But a lot of the recipes have changed as well, and um, simply because now there's so many more resources in the game, well, they've got to put them to use somehow. So there's, there's quite a few surprises, like um, now if you want to make a wind turbine, well, you can, the, uh, the old recipe, uh, I can't think it was like, I think it might have been either copper or aluminium. Now you have to use glass, I think. <laughs> Uh, which is a new thing, but that's fine because you can just make that from quartz, which is a basic resource that you find flapping about the place on the surface. Uh, uh, something else I've noticed from um, playing around with this as well is like um, compound, um, and also possibly resin, does seem to be a bit more common, and um, you can find it underground a lot now. Um, I've been underground quite a lot, and you just find compound just lying around in normal sized pockets, and you never really could do that before. Anyway, let's see what we've got. Um, it's actually a very good idea, straight off. What, you, hang on, what have I got? Um, Small print, yes, get a small printer straight off because small printer gives you access to medium storage immediately. So let's just put that, I don't know, there, doesn't really matter where. Actually, let's put that, let's actually try and arrange things a little better. And we have ourselves stuff. So let's have a look at this. Medium storage just requires two resin, so already we have storage. But we also, we could do with a lot of resin, actually. So just before, I'm going to make just a small shit pit. Just to, because we've got a lot of compound, which I just want to temporarily put down here. But I'm really glad that you, I no longer have to do one of these. Uh, for Well, for the long term, anyway. Because these are just annoying and messy. I always wondered why the, like, the medium storage was so locked behind. So, so much of an effort to actually get previously. So I'm really, really glad that I've actually done this. Anyway, now I need to go and find some resin. It's now dark as dicks, so it's going to be a bit trickier. There might be some over to the top. No, maybe not. I think I just need to have a bit of a tour around. Uh, I'm trying to... I'm, oh, hello, there's a... 
I think there's a, a, a drop down there. Oh, there's some more compound. I won't worry about that just yet. Ah, look, quartz. The pink sticky things are quartz. Actually, whilst we're out here, let's get... Oh, carbon! Which is basically organic. Um, turned into carbon. So nothing exotic, really. But yeah, carbon is now necessary for certain things. Like, the medium generator uses carbon. I don't think coal exists in the, in, in the game anymore. Actual, just like, coal. What's called coal. I think if you've got any coal in your game, that might have turned uh, mysteriously into carbon. But we still don't have any resin. But I think I'm actually going to wait till daytime because, you know. Morning has broken, and the resin is over here, as it turns out. And I've gathered a bit more compound and put it in the pit. But we really do need this resin right now. We also need to print a little canister, so we are, are gathering soil. I think soil is going to be a bit more important to me these days, um, just because of the whole um, soil centrifuge type thing. Once we get start getting a lot of soil, we can actually just easily um, create our own resin and compound once we've actually printed the um, soil centrifuge, uh, which will be a bit further down the line, but not too far, hopefully. I think that requires something like either copper or aluminium, but we shall see. I think that's pretty much gathered all that. Already I can see quite a bit of research up in the trees. Well, since I'm here, I'm about to stop breathing, hang on. Get it, gimme, give, gimme, give gimme. Give Actually, fuck it. <laughs> I've, I've pushed it too far. Actually, I really have. Um, have I got any um, oxygen filters? I... Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> yes. Oxygen filters, very useful. If you keep forgetting, but I actually haven't actually used a single tether yet, which is most unusual. Anyway, so I've got a bit of resin, so it might be a good idea now to start printing out some additional. Oh no! Oh, hang on. That's gonna have to loop round up, and you go back in. There we go. Large platform. Two of two a resin. We don't have much resin. It's annoying. We'll have to have, go and get some more. But once we've done this, we'll be able to make our little research arium. Whilst that's printing, we can always go and do other stuff. I was going to get that research, but let's get these little bits of research over here. Because this is not to be poo-pooed early on. Later on, it's poo-poo central, but for now, we're grateful for every little scrap that we can get. Uh, can I get that one? Yep, there we go. Got you, there's loads over there. Oh god, there's so much research. Ah! <laughs> it's, a, it's one of my compound pits. Also, oh, there's research literally just up there and all. Also, caves. Lots of caves very close to base, which is always most agreeable. Let's put you there. Unlock. Unpack. Uh, starting printer. That's a start called the starting medium printer. I think that can still print everything that the normal one can. So to get a research chamber, we need resin and compound. We actually do need to get more resin. So let's pop over. Let's start actually a new tether trail. If I've actually got any tethers, which I don't. And we'll go off in... I'll tell you what, I'll do this... Um, and um, off camera, just so we're not watching me just <laughs> doing basic resource gathering. So I've got a lot of resin and compound now. I've filled my pit up, but we don't really need to necessarily do that now because we have a bit more stuff. I've got a couple of platforms. I've got one of the medium storage things, so let's unpack that. From the small printer that. Uh, already we are on our way to storage central. Uh, we need to do this. Get our research chamber on the go. Already, whilst I've been tootling around, I found quartz and clay, uh, which we'll get shortly. What I'll do is start putting these into here, rather than into the pit. Let's keep that purely as a compound one. Let's print another one of these. <laughs> Already out of resin. <laughs> Resin's proving trickier than compound to find on this map. Or this local area, anyway. So once we've got that, I'll um, 
the the research chamber I shall put it on this thing over here so let's let's put that let's make a little research area over well it'll have to be a bit closer to the base to start with because we haven't got any extenders but that that out there can be the research district this is the crafting district so we'll have to have our storage kind of close by let's put it there in fact let's make it turn it around like that so we can actually see the damn stuff this is almost done so we can button this in here. Put it straight on this time. I think it is fixed on, isn't it? Yep. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> and then we can put this... Oh, I just put it over there, didn't I? Unpack. Now we need to go and get some research. And there's one up a tree up here. So we'll finally be able to start looking at our research stuff in our backpack. Now, which is interesting because they've reorganised that, which we'll have a look at shortly. Just let get this going. Oh, didn't quite. There we go. It's only a 600 byte one, this one. But if we look in the um, catalogue now, this is much, much better. This has been reorganised into something that's actually really useful and you know where things are, really. Because what they've done is that they've reorganised it by size rather than and by category, which was like always confusing because you never quite knew where, for instance, lights were, whatever. But now, yes, anything that like can fits, well, it's like a small slot type thing, is here. So tethers and canisters are slightly peculiar together. And there's but anything that's really small, really. I think these can all be printed with your small printer. Uh, these are all the things that, all the medium sized things. And those are the large ones. And these are all your vehicle-based stuff that print... Either is a vehicle or prints on from a vehicle bay or whatever. I think. <laughs> but it, it does make sense. Even though, for instance, like the... Um, you'll now have, like, the, the solar generator spread across different uh, things. But it does make sense once you actually get used to it. And it, is, it does feel, like, a lot better. You can immediately think, what do I want? I want that. And then you'll be able to find it without really thinking about it too hard. I could really do with some of the solar... So far that. There's a small wind turbine requiring, as I say, glass. So the next thing we really need to do is actually make a smelter, isn't it? So that needs to be actually needs to be unlocked, I think. So let's um, put that into use. My knowledge that I think it is in. Oh, <laughs> I think it might actually be a, a large thing. <laughs> yes, there it is. It now tells you what you need to actually build it. Compound one, resin two. Sounds like a football score. We will need more resin, of course. Of course. Now, do, have I actually got any resin in the pit? Uh, which should be behind my landing pad thing there. Yeah, I've got loads of resin in the pit. Don't know why I was complaining. Get a few more of those like that. That's ticking along nicely. So we will need to print out smelting furnace. We'll also need a platform for this as well. As is always the case, there's always much to be done. Right, since we're here, we can put some of these onto here. I'll probably just be taking these straight off again, but never mind. I'm also keen on doing a bit of an explore around. In fact, let's actually do that now, because we're... What, what, how long is this going to take? We haven't got much power in it, so let's let's go off over here and get some new resources. That's gonna, is going to take a while. It is again dark. It feels like it's dark 99% of the time, but that's just me being miserable. <laughs> right, let's get some quartz. Uh, not a huge amount to do with this just yet, but it will allow us to make glass, which does let us make certain things like your uh, uh, wind turbines and all that. Although I haven't actually unlocked that yet. Not really huge amounts of quartz there. Hmm. Now, I've got three. That'll do. And over here, if I can see it in the bloody dark. This is where I was getting my resin, but there's also, somewhere around here, some brown clay deposits. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, can't find them, because it's dark as dicks. I could probably do with making a... Uh, unlocking a light, a proper light. That always feels a bit luxurious early on. I think that requires stuff that we all... Yeah, I can't find any clay. Ugh, that's the problem with it being dark. I mean, just trying to find really dark resources in the darkness, but... Yeah, well, we've got the quartz, anyway. The clay, well, that's for ceramic, which is for something. Actually, has, is, is it the, the small t small wind turbine? Hang on, let's just have a quick look. 
can't remember which one it requires now. Um, small wind. Small small wind turbine. Although it does actually require glass, so that's that is okay. The solar requires copper. All right, this is almost done, but it's taking an age. There we go. So let's be let's be making another platform. Requires more resin, which I put over here. Uh, so this is going to go somewhere. Is it, is it smelting further? Let's put it slightly. Let's put it over here. I think that's fine. That'll do. Might as well be unpacking it. Oh, you can't. You've got to wait to it. Some yeah. You've got to put it on a platform. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. All right. Let's have a quick empty of my pit. There's actually a bit more resin in here. I, was, I actually did find one bit of clay by accident at some point. Not quite sure when that was. Let's put a bit more into there. So we'll, we'll try um, putting the quartz through the, the smelter first, because well, that's all we've got at the moment. And that is taking its time. We've got very little power in the grid. I'm wondering whether we should use some of our new bites to unlock. Now it requires 500 and we've got 340, so perhaps not. Um, could make a small generator. That'll be, that'll be handy for early on. Small generator requires... Compound. So, rather than keep that, let's just put that in there. And let's find some organic, which is just around here. This can be smelted into ca um, carbon, but we obviously just want to use it as a power source for our small generator. I think the small generator requires organic, but the medium generator requires the, the processed version of organic, which is an interesting new way of doing it. It is that one. Oh god damn it. Missed. There we go, that should speed things up. Although we don't actually need it at the moment, but never mind. Unpack. Put that on top. Put this kind of let's make it let's face the music and dance. Is it gonna be fiddly? It's gonna be fiddly, god damn it. There we go. Now we can put in the, the new quartz. And it'll slowly but surely do that. Although, fastly but surely, because we actually do have the organic thing going on. Nice. So, the um, where's the, where's the research thing? That's still going. So we don't need any more of those just yet. But let's have a look. We will be needing another one soon. And there is this one, this one over here. I'm sure there's a closer one. We will start to need the other resources soon, like your your bloody copper and all that. But we'll go underground for that. But we'll, I think first of all, I want to have a quick investigation. Oh, this is a really tall one, isn't it? On the surface. Give me the thing. Is this going to actually fall or not? There we go. It's still not going to fall. There we go. There's loads of compound there and all. I'm sure there's something closer by, but... Eh, already got that, I guess. Hmm. I'd probably overreach myself again a bit. But we should just be able to get back in time. If not, what I'll do is I'll do this. No, I'll just leave it. <laughs> and then like that. That can sit there for now. And this is almost done, but we don't really need to do much with this yet. Now, we've actually finally got over 500. I'm tempted to unlock a solar. Um, if the soil, the soil centrifuge is something I want to aim for. I think that's kind of like sli somewhere slightly odd. It's actually in here as well. Um, soil centrifuge, two compound and one aluminium. So we would need to go and find some underground stuff. And that's also 750. Alright, maybe we go for a work light now. Because that's always nice for night time. Um, I, said, I said it was easy to find things, but possibly also rushing it. That requires copper. Again, not necessarily the best thing to do right now. 
But if you look at some of the, um, the vehicles as well with the new progression, um, the, the small buggy, um, no longer called a small rover, uh, that requires compound aluminium, which is straightforward enough. Medium rover requires ceramic, uh, which is from clay. Large rover requires aluminium alloy and rubber, um, which unfortunately you do actually need the chemistry lab for that. So that is a bit further on down the line. The chemistry lab requires ceramic, glass and tungsten. Now, as we discovered in 0.9.2, to get tungsten, you do actually need wolframite, which probably requires a trip off-planet. So chemistry lab is not something that you can do trivially. But as I said, um, you can actually get off-planet a lot quicker these days with the small shuttle, which requires either the um, solid fuel thruster or the old-fashioned old sort um, of using hydrogen. Are we actually, um, where actually are we doing now? Oh, there we go, waiting for that to finish. Perfect timing. Get in. Right, so let's have a bit of a look around the planet, because we haven't actually found any crashed sites yet. Oh, that's I think that was the, um, up there top left was the researcher I was actually looking for earlier. So I'm actually going to start laying out tether lines. Although I could really just, um, eh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll I won't create any filters, but there's something over there we can have, have a look at. Oh, there's more quartz. Lots more quartz. And I could make some more tethers. Go, bit, go back a bit. Oh, that was not quite close enough. There we go. A uh, cave to the left. Surface cave. Small battery. Nice. The platform is wrecked, so not going to worry about shredding. Grab you. Anything in the cave. Oh it's, oh, it's a down cave as well. It's not just like a surface piece of shit. Good. But there's, there's caves right next to where we start, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Anything over here? I'm starting to think I should get that work light. In fact, the next thing we really should do is get copper and aluminium on the go. Oh, it's actually resin. I didn't actually see that. I'm actually going to grab this. There's not much of it, so it won't take too long. But I'm really keen on getting the um, uh, the soil centrifuge on the go. Actually, that's um, I think that's that's one of my several um, priority goals. Because then we won't have to keep on worrying about getting resin from random outcrops. So let's bung. Let's do some bunging. Put some of the resin into here. That's not convenient. Get out of the way, everything. Ah, uh, hang on. I'm going to go on the other side because the gun's in the way. I'll just sod it. I'll stay here. There we go. Not a huge amount of stuff there. So we have got ourselves a a small battery, which I think I shall put it onto the grid. God, look at look at that. That's because I'm recharging. But let's let's convert. Does that fill up the battery, or is that? I think it might be using it. Oh, it's using it on the um, on this. So it's, we haven't actually got any surplus power at the moment. So I've got a bit more medium storage on the go. I'm keen to go and caving now. Let's get a bit closer. Uh, to actually, before that, I do want to unlock a beacon, uh, which does actually require quartz in its raw form. So if you process all your quartz, then, well, you won't be able to make it. But thankfully, I've just gathered some more. So let's find... I should make some more oxygen filters, but that requires resin. Again, I'm quite low on that. Anyway, beacon. Make a little beacon. So we can mark the start of the cave. Although, having said that, I mean, it's probably going to be a very close-by cave. We've already discovered that. So let's just get rid of this. There's the beacon. So, yeah, the cave... <laughs> the cave literally is right here. In fact, you could probably, like... Not quite. So what I'll do is I'll make a little... A little way down. We'll make it like them. Um, there, like that. That might be a bit of a drop, so let's just try and do that a bit better. Oh, it should be okay. I mean, we'll, I can just make something go, come back up again. Oh, it's barely a barely a step at all. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Tether. It was not ideal. Uh huh. Already into the caves. Oh, it's a piss cave. Oh, it's the end of a cave, anyway. 
Well, it makes things a lot easier to explore anyway. Let's finally get rid of this sod. See if it's worth the squirt. No, it's not. No squirting allowed. Oh, hang on. What's going on there? We've missed a bit. There we go. Pull that one back in again. Oh, this is so surface. So Such a basic cave. Ugh. This is not going to help us. Oh, here we go. Nope. We are going to go down into something proper. Have found ourselves more resin, which is actually quite convenient. But we're still looking out for the new crystals. There's actually a new ore, um, Sphalerite, um, somewhere, which apparently is on most planets, up uh, on, on the surface and in caves. That can turn into zinc, uh, which is a bit of a later thing. We don't have to worry about that sort of thing just now. God, look at that. Proper ass caving down there. But let's have a go over here. This looks maybe more fruitful. This is the sort of place where you might find something half decent. But apparently not there. There's a prick. Looks like we might have some ammonium type stuff. Move that a bit further there. There's actually a quite a lot of compound down here as well. Oh. Well, we've got ammonium. That's always useful for... <sighs> stuff, I guess. I think there's certain things you can use ammonium for early on now. I can't actually remember off the top of my head what that is. But whatever. Well, oh, that's enough for now. I think my my, um, my storage is actually getting quite full. Let's see if there's anything, any research under there. Get out of the way. Everything, get out of the way. No, there's nothing there, is there? So I'm following a new path over here, uh, which is, does seem to have actually got quite a few uh, minerals and uh, quartz here. But also I think there might be something, I think there might be aluminium or the other thing, copper, somewhere down here. Oh, do we need to make sure that we are breathable? There we go. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Also compound actually here down in the caves as well. As I said earlier, there seems to be compound more deep down these days on the basic planet. I've also got some research just <laughs> to add to the mix. Ah, laterite. Good. Do 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 do. There has been so quite a few like colour changes and stuff like that with some of the ores. Which is nice. And it's slightly confusing, but once you get used to it, all to the good. This stuff seems to change colour as you look at it. Or well, in different... Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, that looks like another 800 biter, so let's put that there for now. Let's see if there's anything else... Oh, God. I am s totally stuck in the bowels of a bollocksing cave now. In a, in a crev. Cave crev. Oh, dicks on toast. Oh! Uh, I was going to make that work like, but that requires copper. And who's got time for that? And by the looks of it, this cave... Malachite. Somewhere. <laughs> it's literally buried underground. Oh good, we've got both Malachite and the other thing. So, uh, we're back. We're back! And we have ourselves a new bit of research. We've actually got loads of research bites now. Um, look, we've got two, over 2,000. Oh, let's actually get that going. Oh, it's a bit of a funny shape, that one, but never mind. Soil centrifuge. So this requires compound and aluminium, so let's unlock that. What I really want to do as well is um, unlock the vehicle bay. A thousand bytes, not too expensive. And then we might be able to get the small shuttle and the solid fuel thruster. Um, but that'll require <laughs> quite a few more things. Hang on, let's see what the small shuttle is. Small shuttle, another 1500. Um, but we also will actually need this solid fuel thing, we Bob. Uh, which is, again, I forget where the bloody hell this is. There it is. That requires aluminium and ammonium. Ah, this is where you can use ammonium um, early on. So that's actually not too bad. We can actually get that now. And all we need to do now is research enough for a, a, um, a small shuttle. So another thousand bytes, and we'll be good. Um, but for now... Could wait, do with waiting until morning. Um, I'll, I'll be decanting my stuff and also be putting through some of the 
stuff here. Oh, hang on. We'll need to. Yeah, I'll do a bit of sorting out and smelting, and I'll see you on the other side of this. So, we're tootling through our um, furnacing. So slowly but surely doing it. We haven't got much power in the base. Um, I really should do something about that at some point. But now we've got some aluminium and some copper, so we can start doing other stuff. We can make our soil centrifuge. We just need an extra bit of that. And that should solve, hopefully, our... Like, any resin and compound issues that we have. We've got loads of compound, but resin just continues to be a bit thin on the ground. I've, just, I've been gathering a bit more. I'll keep that in my pack, I think. I could do with more storage in general. Inevitably. Let's put those there so we know what we've got. Ooh, a bit of a crappy tether bundle there. I never actually did use that beacon. I was going to do that to mark caves and everything, but not really necessary at the moment. So let's put that randomly in there. Resin. I'll keep that in the main body of things. Haven't got anything on my gun. Right, so I definitely want this soil centrifuge on the go. Um, Research-wise, I think it's, it would be nice to actually get a second platform, but not going to worry about that just yet. Bite-wise, we've got not that many. It's going very slowly at the moment. But I do kind of like want to make a small shuttle just to finish off the episode, so that's going to be our um, goal in the medium term, I guess. But now I just want to get the soil centrifuge on the go, so we can actually see how that works. Already got myself a little platform ready. I don't want to do too much at once, because then we will, um, well... It'll take so long to do anything because of the power situation. In fact, let's let's have a look at what we can do about that. I think I might. Well, I've got some organic, so let's um, let's just stick to stick to organic at the moment. Oh, actually, let's um, let's not get rid of that because that's actual research. So we can't be sniffy about this sort of stuff at the moment. Grab some of this. Ah, not a huge amount, admittedly, but it'll do for now. God, this is taking forever. I wonder if we should turn stuff off. I don't really want to do that. Um, what else? No, I don't want to do that. Right, let's put in this into there. Yeah, you can actually hear it slightly speed up. Not very fast, though. This is almost done. So once that's done, hopefully we, our power situation will get under control. Let's take those and put them over. Yeah. I wonder if we should do a work light. Ah, here we go. Finally. Got quite a bit of that stuff now. Right, soil centrifuge. Oh, we'll need to be hooking up the... Oh, I've already hooked up the platform, so that's not a problem. This is just finishing off. Let's put that over here. Now, this is a bit of a big lad. This is my adult, large adult son. Here we go. Right, so the interface... Quite interesting. You've got all the stuff, the basic stuff here. Quartz, hang on, let's go with clay, quartz, graphite, compound, resin, and organic. Right, so have I got a full, yes I have, a full soil canister. Put that in there. Take that back. And there, from that, just from that alone, which appears to be like four over here, I can actually make four clay. Two quartz, one graphite, Two compound, two resin, and not two organic. So, organic's not... Mm, clay's good. You get a lot of clay. And um, graphite, I don't, I'm not really sure what graphite does. Um, but you can find... I've, I think I found that in one when, when experimenting previously. Um, just from the world. I think it was just from a, a crash ship or something. Anyway, I can be putting that in. Get this on the go. Now, did I make a vehicle bay? Did I unlock that? Let's have a look. Yes, I did. I need three compound for that. That's not too expensive. But we will need yet another... No, not quite. Hit the one right thing there. Another one of them. I might actually use some of that soil to get resin. Yeah. We've got some resin hanging around, but it'd be nice to actually get a bit more. So let's actually put this into actual use. Wee do 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 do, and it'll eventually round and round and round she goes. Oh, I hope I don't land on bankrupt. That's taking forever. Sod it. 
Unfortunately, it gains the whole power situation, isn't it? We don't have one, really, because <laughs> it's, it's so piss at the moment. Although we, we are out of organic, so once more we'll do that. I so say I don't really want to unlock too much power stuff at the moment, because I'm trying to aim directly for the small shuttle. Put that into there. God, everything's taking so long. I am maybe regret doing a bit of regretting over there. We've got a thousand. Hmm. Well, okay, sod it. I think we can we can grit our teeth and go for this um, small shuttle straight away, I think. 1,500. We've got two aluminium, I think, so that's all to the good. Although we might have to make... Oh, we'll be, I'm sure we'll be fine. That takes so long. Yeah, I suppose it's, it's to try and encourage you not to treat it too trivially. But I guess I can be getting more soil into the pot. That's about a quarter done. That's... I'm just looking at my backpack. Oh, something's finished. But let's just try and get up to the full... I mean, this is just like... I mean, I, normally I gather soil in the course of things anyway, but this time let's just try and fill this up to the top. There we go. I can put this back into here. Oh, no, I can't, because it hasn't bloody finished yet. Anyway, we've got ourselves another large platform, so let's just unpack that. This is going to be the vehicle bay, so we want it nicely out of the way. In a nice little rhyming sort of way. Let's put it... That can go. Put it there, I think. This was going to be the research district. Now it's not. <laughs> now it's the pretty much everything research. Everything district. Ah, here we go. We have ourselves the resin. We can fill that up again. And that's bonus resin. So now we just need to make our vehicle bay. Three compound required. And now we've got to wait for this one as well. Okay, so I think it's time to try and get our vehicle bay on the go. Unpack that. How much bites have we got now? Oh, we actually have just got just under enough. I'm not quite sure if this um, the small shuttle will need a shuttle seat or not. I'm guessing maybe not. But... Yeah, we'll see. Oh, we can't do anything just yet, can we? No, I just do actually need to unlock the actual small shuttle. Two aluminium required. Oh, it goes in that direction. Oh, that's fine. That'll do. So I need my two aluminium from over here. Never, I never bother planning my bases very much, but this is a bit all over the place, this one. There we go. So we're already at the small shuttle stage. That's going to take forever. But, that uh, research. Let's temporarily... Can you, you can turn the research up. No, it'll, it'll cancel the research, won't it? That's going to tootle along slowly but surely. Do I have any com organic? No, I don't. The next thing, I, the next thing I'll do is unlock uh, power. But I probably won't bother doing that in this episode. Right, so let's quickly bung that in there. You can see the the, the lack of power in the grid. Oh, that's not too, yeah, it's not flashing. That one's not flashing red at the moment. Oh, there it is. That's already done. Right, so we do obviously need a something over here, a seat. So that will be another thing that we need to unlock. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, now the um, the research is finished. So we do need to go and get some more of that. Let's just see what tethers we've got, if any. Oh, nope, not that. Yeah, let's do a couple more. We will need to go and find... Oh, it's bloody dark again. There's loads up in the air around here. Oh, careful. But let's have a go over here. Oh, this is a bit cavey, though. Oh, God. Right, what are we actually looking at? There we go. Up there. Possibly. Can't see anything. Why is it always dark? Oh. <laughs> at this rate, I'm going to run out of... Oh, there's massive amounts of quartz there. Really tall batch. Oh, I can see some. Although we're going to... If we're not careful, we're going to run out of oxygen. We may... I'll do this before we, I get too concerned. Make a little oxygen bundle. 
I'll keep us going for a while. So I can get my little bishop's hat. Hmm. This might need to be a destroyer. I think there's an easier way of doing this, but I can never remember if that's true or not. Anyway, that's placed it right in front of me, so that's all to the good. I can hear some squelchy sounds. I think there might be some underground. I think that might be... Yeah, there's, there's literally just like a... Um, yeah, a bunch of holes in the ground there. That could grab me. And let's just grab some of this. Not that we really need it these days. Now we've got our soil situation. I really should make more canisters, but then there's, there's everything. If you make loads of canisters and you make loads of oxygen filters and all that sort of quality of life stuff, you leave no room in your bloody backpack for anything else. Always been the thing with this game. You've got to balance out your needs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Delicate little platform. So we just need to basically research this and get ourselves a seat, and then we need to make our uh, we need to make our thruster, my solid fuel thruster, as well. This is such a weird, nasty little landscape. It's a prick, is what it is. Right, where's this go? Get over here. Can't remember if the bishop's hat's good or not. That's a thousand. That's not too bad. That'll actually get us where we need to be. So what we need to do now is make the solid fuel thruster, which um, is, I think it's that one. So aluminium and ammonium, and this will print at the small, no, the medium printer. So um, what is it? ammonium, which is some of that, and aluminium, which is some of, oh. Have we not got any more aluminium? Bloody hell, I've been burning through what we've got. So you join me deep underground. Um, I found some dynamite. But also I found some graphite. Um, um, right down here in the depth of things. Um, my backpack is now full because I've been getting the aluminium. But also I've been <laughs> decanting stuff that was not strictly necessary. There's some more clay. So I haven't really been gathering any of that. And there, unfortunately, is the way back up, which is um, not 100% ideal. Here we go. Now we should be able to make our thruster. I think that might be the medium printer, so let's go to here. Oh no, it's not. I think it might be the that one. There we go. Solid fuel thruster, ammonium and aluminium. So I'll be making that. Have we got enough bites yet? Yes, we have. Now we can make our shuttle seat. Two more aluminium. So we will actually do need to continue on the whole smelting thing. Aluminium ore. Put that to there. Come on, seat. So research. All the research that we need to do for now is done. If I might. How much is left of this? Oh, 30, 39 seconds worth. Yeah, I can let that be. Right, so what are you? Are oh, you the thruster? The one way. We should make, really make more than one of these so we can actually get back again. But, how do I actually get this thing to actually go? Ah! Automatically goes upside down. A one way trip to another planet. So yeah, let's, um, if we're going to do this, we may as well do it properly. Let's get, oh, something's finished. That'll be the thing, won't it? That's malachite. We don't want malachite. Laterite. So we need to make one more. Oh, for, where's it gone? There we go. Right, so grab you. And you. So we just make, need to make one more of those. And so now we can make, we can actually make the seat. And um, so that, does that need to be done via this? Let's have a look. Rover seat. Shuttle seat. So now we're making that. So in theory now we could actually blast off. However, we do need to make one more a return trip type thing. I mean, this small shuttle is only good for like a basic gathering. Obviously you can't take any storage with you other than the stuff that you've got. Hang on, let's put that through as well. Other than the stuff that you've got like your backpack and your gun. Let's go to the dynamite. 
because that's just clogging everything up. There's no room for, to put this anywhere. Let's put it on the side of the thing. That's what's known as a what can possibly go wrong situation. <laughs> Nearly done. And we need one more. Where is it? Have we got any? Yes, we have. One more ammonium. Now, the good thing about the um, the the solid state thruster, the solid fuel thruster, is that you don't actually have to unpack it. You can just put it in your backpack and take it with you. Nearly done. It looks like the um. Is this done? Yep, that's done. That's ready to go. And then we need to make another one of these, don't we? So let's go over here. Or is it here? It's over here, yep, yep, yep. Solid th fuel thruster. And we're, we're basically there, once this is done. Okay, so I crafted a bunch of um, tethers and oxygen filters. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to put that into my backpack. Uh, hang on. Let's put that into my gun. So we'll be able to get back again. And... Oh, shit. Enter. Launch. And there we go. The small shuttle blasts off into the stratosphere. Uh, we'll pause here and we'll pick up again in the next episode. Um, that's going to have been quite a long episode. Uh, Filming-wise, that, that was an hour and a half of gameplay, which I let down. So that's how long it's taken me to actually get into space this time round. Which I think is a lot faster than I used to be able to. Which did involve a lot of mithering around. But hey, whatever. So yep, thanks for watching. As I say, um, we'll pick this up again in the next episode. So do subscribe to be notified when that goes live. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.